Scott Thickens. Breaking, Devin Nunez just dropped a truth bomb on John Kerry by Aaron Moreno for truthfeednews.com. Chairman Nunez is still poised to release his memo on indiscretions in the Obama State Department, but last night during his uh, interview with Laura Ingram, he let a big one slip. Nunez revealed that John Kerry was also briefed on the second dossier, or Memo 2.0, which, according to reports, contains information fed to steal by Obama's State Department and Clinton confidants. Here it is. Let's watch him. Devin Nunez. We were begging uh, the hashtag Obama administration to do something about the Russia problem, and they ignored us. We've been, Republicans for a long time, especially on the House Intelligence Committee, we were begging the Obama administration to do something about the Russia problem, and they ignored us. I even said it was the largest intelligence failure since 9-11, our failure to understand Putin. And yet, the mainstream media doesn't care. You'd think they would actually call out some of these guys who say this stuff, but they don't, the facts don't get in the way, because I just think they, they, just, they do not want this president to be successful, and they don't want Republicans to be successful, and they have one goal in mind, and that is power. They just want Republicans removed from the House of Representatives. By any means necessary? By any means. I mean, look what they did. I mean, it, it really appears like you hit with political dirt being moved from a campaign, being developed and paid for by a campaign, funneled right into the FBI to open up an investigation into the other campaign, into the Trump campaign, and then to spy on someone is something I would even, I would never have imagined uh, this is where, I knew about a year ago, well, about uh, last March time frame that the dossier was used in some form or fashion. But even at that time, I thought to myself, ah, really, they- Has to they be a minor could, thing. Couldn't have been that crazy, and it ends up, they were really that crazy. Uh, what about bringing back Comey, McCabe, perhaps members of the State Department with what we learned tonight? Uh, and their involvement in filing for this FISA application, knowing what they knew about Christopher Steele, even in the subsequent applications, he was unreliable. He had basically admitted as such that he, you know, he, had, he was getting subsourced information, including from uh, throughout uh, the process through Clinton Associates. Are you going to bring people back? Yeah. So, so phase one of the investigation was FISA abuse. Okay, and we we closed that out in terms of of what we think members needed to know. We're moving on to the State Department and the regularities there. Uh, the next phase will be looking at all the cast of characters and then conducting those interviews. State Department thus far, what can you tell us? I can just tell you that the State Department was gathering information and then passing it to very strange places that should not have happened. The Obama uh, State Department. The Obama State Department. Uh, I will just say that uh, there were comments over the weekend from people within the State Department that said John Kerry had been briefed on the dossier, uh, that they had provided the dossier, the new dossier, whatever this new dossier is, uh, and they had provided it also to the FBI. So uh, I, by people starting to talk about it, it seems to me like some people may be trying to distance themselves from the rest of the cast of characters. Sydney Blumenthal. You know, they, you see how the Republicans, they don't want to really, you know, she had to push him to say Obama, you know. They know Obama's involved. Let's take him down. What are we waiting for? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.